So the question we're asking today is tires. Is it time to check your tires? Well, it's always a good time to check your tires. Uh, as you can see from the trees behind me, autumn is coming. It's the beginning of October, which is a great time to take a look at your tires and find out, is it time? How do you tell if it's time for new tires? Let's have a look. A question that comes up often enough is the wear bar or the, you know, uh, tread depth. Uh, is my tread deep enough? Um, when someone measures it, you know, what is the proper number? Uh, what does a wear bar look like? Let's have a look. So as you can see here, this is the wear bar and you see it goes all the way across the tire. It's in different places along the way. So when your tread of the tire actually gets down even with that, you definitely need new tires. Should you get new tires before that? That's a good question. These tires, the, the tire you see here is an all season tire. It's been on here a while. It clearly, you know, still legally can be used. There's space in there, but should it be used? A common concern with your tire is hydroplaning. When it's raining out and the roads are wet, what is hydroplaning? Well, that is when the water under your tire actually lifts your tire off the ground. If your rubber on your tire is no longer making contact with the ground because of water, you're hydroplaning, which means you have no control over your vehicle. When you're traveling on wet roads and through puddles, the water gets pressed into these channels. Your tread should still make contact with the ground. When the water that you're going through is so great that it actually separates your tread from the ground and you're basically riding on water, that's hydroplaning. So a question is your tread depth. Is your tread deep enough to keep you from hydroplaning? Well, that's going to be a function of how hard it's raining, how much water is on the road, and how deep are the puddles, okay? Because there's probably a place in everybody's town where you could drive your vehicle and the water is definitely deeper than the tread on your tire. But for the most and greatest amount of safety, you want to have as much tread as you can here. So when we're looking at the tire and we're looking at the wear bar, trying to determine should I be using this tire in the winter? Well, maybe when it gets this thin, and you can see this wear bar right here is almost even with the tread of the tire. That's pretty close, that's borderline right there. You know, thinking about whether or not you should be using this in the winter, there's a good chance this tire, you probably shouldn't even be using it in the summer. So that tire we just looked at was the driver's side front. Let's go over to the passenger side front and see how that one looks. Okay, well, looking at this tire, you can see that, well, technically it passes, but this wear bar, this wear bar is almost even with the tread. In the center of the tire, it's a little bit better. On this far side, this wear bar is almost even with the tread. This tire should go. This is a tire that should be replaced. And, oh, and let's look over here also. You can see on the outer edge of this tire, all this cracking that's going on. This tire has been around for a while. This tire has seen better days. All this cracking makes the tire uh, susceptible to failure. Definitely this tire should go. So in this particular instance, yes, it's time for new tires on this vehicle. Since it's the beginning of October, any time now would be a good time to get new tires. If your vehicle has tires that look similar to this, you probably should get them replaced. So now you know you're probably gonna replace these tires. The next question that comes up, what size do I need? Well, you can look at the tires that are on your vehicle now. That may or may not be a good way to do it. The tires that are on your vehicle, hopefully, were the right size when they were put on. Sometimes, someone puts tires on a vehicle that are not exactly to spec. Uh, it doesn't mean the vehicle can't use that particular size of tire, but to be sure, what you wanna do is you wanna open the driver's side door. So let's have a look. Go over to the driver's side, open the door, look down on the door frame. Here we go right here. Sticker, and on the sticker will show you what size tire is correct for your vehicle. That's probably what you should put on. On your vehicle, probably looks a lot the same. 
easy enough to find out. Write down all those numbers, take them inside, go on the internet, do a search, look at your favorite tire companies or tire discounters, whatever you want to do. Get some idea of what they should cost you and realize that some of the prices you're being quoted are just tires. Not everyone is quoting you installation, balancing, warranty, and so on. Uh, also, if you have tire pressure sensors in your wheels, then they may need replacing or not. Who knows? You won't know till you go. So those might be add-ons for later, but at least you'll have some idea what you should be paying for the tires. The tires that are on your vehicle now, and it will show you everything that matters for your vehicle. So how does that affect your tire? Let's look. Channels and the water gets, well, channeled. So when the thickness of your tread, when, the, when your 